Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. Welcome back to Nelson Radio and KTLK AM 1150. This segment brought to you by Brian Chu from OC Wills and Trust Attorneys. To contact us, we want you reaching out. Give us a call direct, 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or you can click through at nelsonradio.com. We've been talking about our theme throughout the show, staring forward and and glancing back. You stare forward, you glance back, and along those lines, we're going to go to the State of the Industry Report with Academy Mortgage's Executive Vice President, Bill Bent. Bill, are you with us? I am, Nelson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. You know, I wanted to start off, and we're seeing all sorts of legislative changes in our industry government changes in terms of uh, how we conduct ourselves in business. And one is looking at the HAMP program that's obviously supposed to provide relief, the Home Assistance Modification Program. Is that the correct definition of HAMP? That is, Nelson, yeah. So tell us tell us what you found. I found it very fascinating. Sure. Well, the program got released back in 2009, and it was the first effort by the federal government to provide assistance to homeowners that were struggling on their payments and underwater with their value the program was designed to really um, uh, encourage the banks or give them um, a platform to get more active uh, modifying people's mortgages that um, were struggling with their payments. The program um, uh, still actually continues today, and um, but the program, the um, uh, little alarming stat was that the homeowners that have gone through that program, that they're redefaulting on their loans that have very high rate. Uh, the 2009 loans that were modified um, have a 48 percent uh, default rate, and then the homeowners that modified in 2010 have a um, uh, approximately a 37 percent default rate right now. And um, so that's you know been the disappointment side of the program. And it's really the the I mean disappointment when you have a 50 percent fail rate in terms of these people that went from a default position and like you said are now redefaulting. It's out of the frying pan into the fire. Is HAMP being modified again? Is the program itself addressing this, or the, is it just plugging away and extending modifications, but with this fail rate that's so high? Um, it, it's actually not being modified right now, so it's just plugging away. And um, you know, w- with this now the the number of consumers that are um, eligible and taking advantage of market dropped significantly. And a lot of that drop, though, is improving house prices. And some people that were looking maybe to sell but underwater and needed help on their payments able to now sell. And that's a perfect segue. We just had the Case Schiller results uh, released. And here in the Southland, L.A. and Orange counties reported a year-over-year improvement in appreciation in values of 19.2%. And now they're uh, saying we're now just 28% short of the all-time highs that were uh, reached in 2000, uh, 2006, I believe. Is that healthy for our market, that kind of appreciation? Or does that actually have some problems of its own? Well, it's going to find a period where it's going to slow down. And um, it's you know 19% year-over-year is not sustainable unless we have income, household income growing 19% a year. I'm sure uh, I, I'm sure our households would love to see that income growth, but that's not really how uh, the, it doesn't go at those levels. We also have the rising interest rates, and so with the higher home values, rising interest rates, there will be a slowdown, I would expect, on the appreciation level to a more sustainable uh, number, which you would think would be a single-digit number. And that's the perfect call to action, something we've been referencing throughout the show earlier about Academy Mortgage's lock and shop rate guarantee. And so we'll go into details about that. Bill, I want to thank you for being with us. Great insights. That's Bill Bent, our executive vice president from Academy Mortgage. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Nelson. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.
That's Bill Bentz, the Executive Vice President from Academy Mortgage, and speaking to our show's themes, Darren Forward and Glancing Back. This segment brought to you by Brian Chu from O.C. Wills and Trust Attorneys. Call us direct, 888-888-2136. That's 888 888 2136 or at nelsonradio.com.